everyone, big week for the channel. Stay tuned. <laughs>、so、before begin this week's video, I I I do want to say,、uh, as of the time of recording, I just crossed over a thousand subscribers. That is exactly 999 more subscribers than I ever thought I would get. So, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much.、Uh, I didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, I will be doing a big shindig here in the coming weeks. I、uh, want to have a giveaway, but I need to get all that stuff figured out. So、uh, stay tuned because I will be doing that here soon. So this week,、uh, I am covering a new house、um, to me.、Uh, I'm not sure when they started themselves, but this is Sphinx. And、uh, I ordered the Discovery set from them. And so. The way it works on their website is you pick nine fragrances, they give you a discovery set.、Uh, and then they also shipped me one additional、uh, sample that I hadn't ordered,、uh, but boy, I'm excited to talk about it. So, start off here by talking about the discovery set itself.、Uh, I will get some pictures of this up, but I gotta say, the presentation is really, really beautiful. This white box with kind of an imprint on it、uh, that looks very Egyptian. There is、uh, a <clears throat> Magnetic thing in the lid that holds the box down, and then on the inside,、uh, a really, really gorgeous presentation.、Uh, I know that it's the juice that matters, but、um, I gotta say, <laughs> the presentation of the Discovery set made me feel really good about it because, <laughs> like, I was just kind of like, wow, this is it's really, really pretty.、Um, they you could tell that they actually loaded it by hand because it is my nine fragrances, but they have all of the、um, The names of the fragrances are all pointed out, which is, I mean, it's a small thing. Again, small thing, but the presentation is really nice.、Uh, I also got to say that for the 10th sample that they sent me for free,、uh, Extra has its own little, you know, standard kind of like sample holder, but the paper's really nice. <laughs> I mean, I got to say, all across the board, the presentation is really nice. So,、uh, I have only smelled three of these、uh, because I couldn't help myself. I smelled the extra one they sent, and then I smelled. I smelled two of the fragrances that are actually in the Discovery set, but everything else is going to be first impressions. It's going to be brief, except for the one that I've already worn, which I want to talk about more. I'll save that one for last. So I will just start going through the Discovery set, and、uh, I'll start with the ones that I have smelled already, and then we'll proceed from there. All right, so except for a couple of them, I'm not going to be able to tell you the official notes.、Uh, this is literally first impressions, and I picked these based on the names.、Uh, I didn't look up anything about them. I think there was a couple of them that I'd literally heard the name before,、uh, but apart from that, I, I didn't know.、Uh, also, kind of a little thing they have,、uh, you know, it's not uncommon for them to include、uh, scent strips with the, the testers that you get, but they're pretty cute. They're nice, so I'm just gonna tuck them right there in my shirt. And we are going to start off with Sphinx Signature, which is maybe、uh, one of the more fitting ones to start off with. So, this one, again,、um, I have smelled this one before. Oh, one other thing I wanna say about these <laughs> this is a very small thing, but a lot of discovery sets these days are 1.8 milliliter bottles. These are 2.5.、Um, It's a small thing, but it's nice. It gives you more of a chance to wear it. It's not gone after like two wearings. You have like maybe three, four if you're conservative. So、um, I gotta say, that's another, another selling point. I really do like that they're giving you a more generous amount comparatively. So Sphinx Signature, right? That's what I got, right? This is one of the ones that I had smelled before. And、um, My first thought was, yeah, that seems like an appropriate、uh, scent. It was out of the three that I smelled, it was the one that I liked the least, though I will say it's, one that, it's not one that I dislike. This is kind of a soft, sweet, powdery fragrance.、Uh, I think Signature is a good name for it because I think this would be probably fitting for、uh, Daily in the Office. This did actually kind of strike me、um, as maybe a little bit.、Um, Classier than I would typically think for a daily wear.、Uh, doesn't mean that it wouldn't be good for it, but like this to me also kind of smells like it would be something that you could use for a, a class, like an event. Like if you're going to some sort of a formal event, this is a nice professional,、uh, masculine, ma uh, powdery scent. 
Very sweet. Uh, like I said, this one was probably the least uh, favorite of the three that I smelled so far, um, but still a very good scent. Still very appealing. Uh, it, it veers away from my particular style, but I can appreciate that it's a good scent. Like, and and also, this one feels like the kind of thing where like I could, you know, getting to know this as I sit with this one a little bit more, I could find uh, myself liking it more and more. But uh, that is first date, or no, that's a signature. Next up is first date. That's the uh, the other one from inside the box that I smelled was first date. And for this one, don't know if it's intended to be for men or women. I think um, when I smell it, I think it smells uh, like it go either way. Uh, this one feels very much like a unisex fragrance. And it's one of those uh, unisex fragrances where um, I feel like depending on who's wearing it, you'll go, oh yeah, it's a masculine fragrance. If a, if a man's wearing it, you'll go, it's a masculine fragrance. If it's a woman wearing it, I think you would go, it's a woman's fragrance. And the reason why is because I think there's, there's things for both. This to me is kind of, um, kind of a creamy, woody, fruity, with some leather sort of a thing. First date is a great name because I feel like this is a great first impression. And there might even be like some coconut in there. Um, I didn't, I, I looked the notes for this one up, but I don't remember exactly what they were. But to me, it comes across like kind of a, like a soft, fruity, coconutty leather with some woods in there. And all this stuff makes it sound, I think, more masculine than it actually is. I think, man, if I smelled this on a, on a girl on our first date, Oh, it's, it's just really appealing. It's really inviting. The sweetness is really, really nice. It's hard too because like these, uh, everything I've smelled so far, there's only one fragrance which I'll talk about at the end which has like comparisons so far to other, other fragrances I've smelled. Very, uh, you can't say very, they are unique profiles I guess is the point. This one's really nice. I think like it, it's masculine without like punching you in the face. You know what I mean? But when I'm smelling it on the strip, I go, man, this would be beautiful on my wife. So I, get, I think that's the sign of like a really good unisex fragrance is like when I smell this, it could go either way and it would be perfectly acceptable. So this is a first date for either sex, I think. Uh, the, the other thing I wanna say too is like smelling a couple of these so far, I'm like, wow, these smell really good. And then you go online and they're actually like fairly attainable compared to a lot of other fragrances out there. Um, they are not, <clears throat> they're not like $500, you know, it looks like they're 100 to 150 for a lot of these fragrances. And I feel like that's a good price. Uh, the quality seems exceptional. Like they all seem very well blended. They don't seem cheap. Uh, they don't smell synthetic. I think, hold on, let me pull up my notes. So here's, here are the notes that I wrote down uh, for first date. Soft and sweet unisex, and I can see it working well on both. Uh, when, I fo when it's on me, I focus on the spices and woods more. Uh, I see online it's compared to Le Beau. Okay, yeah, that's right. So uh, this was, when I looked it up online, this was compared to Le Beau, and I own Le Beau, um, though I think this was compared to the Le Parfum, and I own the EDT. Uh, I like this a lot more. Um, Le Beau is one of those fragrances that I want to like more than I do. Um, there's something about it that's like, I like it in spite of its synthetic sort of a smell. And my thought process when people were making the comparison to Le Beau is, this is like the non synthetic -y smelling version of LeBeau. Again, I don't think it smells exactly like it, but I can see the comparison. But for me, the difference is that this smells more natural. Uh, still smells high quality. I don't think synthetic means high quality, but like this to me smells more natural, like a more natural version of what LeBeau is trying to do with that kind of like tropical, you know, sort of sweet inviting scent. This does that without the uh, without the synthetic mess that I feel like Lebeau can be, and a lot of Jean Paul Gaultier fragrances can be. I like this one significantly more. Uh, if you are thinking about getting Lebeau, I would check this one out first because 
I think first date is a better version. Also, even though very few people you run into will have encountered LeBeau, this is gonna be a little bit more unique. Next up, one I haven't smelled, coconut daiquiri. We're gonna rip through these ones because uh, these are first impressions, so I'm sure my thoughts will evolve on them, but uh, I don't wanna take too much time just kind of sitting here not knowing what I'm talking about. So coconut daiquiri, uh, the name has a suggestion for what this is going to be. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, Coconut daiquiri is like perfect. Um, I, d I get both of those. Like up top, it's very, very bright citrusy. But you can tell that like there's there's coconut in there as well. But it does smell like a daiquiri. Kind of fresh, it smells cold. Um, that's nice. I wanna wear this one on skin. Bright, clean. Yeah, that's really nice actually. I'm, I'm quite a fan of that one. I, I'm, I wanna, I'll get to know this one a little bit more uh, right now. Not sure if there's a lot to say. It, it seems like it's exactly what's on the tin. Kind of bright, fresh green. By green, I mean like uh, lime green. <sighs> nice, this one might lean a little bit more feminine, but it's also the sort of thing that I would like to wear myself. Um, kind of reminds me like it's in the same vein as like a St. Bart's from Tommy Bahama. But this is probably like the really nice version of that. That's nice. Nothing too insane, but it's very, very nice. Okay, next up is going to be, and these are, they, there's, so it's, it's a beautiful like foam case here that holds these. Um, can make it kind of fun to get them out sometimes, but there we go, pop it, there we go, there we go. So next up is going to be Cairo Nights. We are truly into unknown territory here. I don't know what Cairo Nights is. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. So let's see if it makes me think about Cairo at night. Yeah, I totally, uh, I totally get the Nights is like, what is it? Is it, is it that there's, um, Yeah, okay, so this is kind of giving me like a blue electric. Maybe it's cardamom. I don't know. This one, this this feels like a DNA that I have smelled before. And this is the sort of DNA where like, I think this would have been in my cardamom video that I made a couple months ago. But I like this one a lot more. Uh, <laughs> I find this more appealing than blue electric. I think in the video where I actually talked about Blue Electric and Cardamom, I said that it gave me an association of like driving at night. Um, kind of that Kavinsky song, Driving at Night, kind of gives me that feeling. <laughs> and this is kind of reinforcing that. And I feel like the fact that it's named Cairo Nights, that's like maybe that <laughs> it set me up, you know what I mean? So like I, I was expecting, not necessarily this profile, but like, I have an association with this note and night for some reason. Maybe the same as the perfumer. Because yeah, I'm picturing like driving at night with like bright, you know, neon light signs and stuff like that. Like nighttime and cyberpunk. That's what this smells like to me. Nighttime and cyberpunk. So like future space Egypt, I could totally see that as well. I don't know, maybe this is the one that kind of really makes me turn the corner on cardamom because I'm finding this, uh, I'm finding this appealing. I, it's probably, a big part of this is probably expectations. I feel like Cairo Nights, <laughs> it's such a weird small thing, but I feel like naming it Cairo Nights really set me up to exactly have this reaction where I'm like, yeah, this feels like night to me. All right, Cairo Nights, that's a good one. I apologize for making this video even longer and for having terrible lighting still, but I was editing the video yesterday and uh, <laughs> I realized this morning that I needed to pop in and say this. I had been mistaking this for uh, the, the Cairo Nights for uh, uh, Blue Electric and Halloween Man, Halloween Man X when I spread it on paper, and the second that I spread it on skin, I was like, "Oh, you idiot!" <laughs> like the second I spread it on skin, I was like, "Pegasus? No, Altair." It has like strong vibes with Altair from Parfums Marley, so this shot 
right up on the list to me because I really like that smell a lot. It's wild to me that I wasn't picking that up on paper. And I don't know if the difference is that much, but it was, I mean, honestly, even when I was doing the editing last night, I was like scratching my chin trying to figure it out. And it wasn't until this morning when I sprayed it on and I sprayed it on and immediately, immediately had that association. Don't think it smells exactly like it. I don't think it's like a clone or a dupe or anything like that, but it does have strong um, similarities to the point where I would go, oh, I'm going to spend... 140 150 whatever it is for this one versus the 330 for the parfums to marley so uh i think just from a value standpoint this is probably a lot better uh <laughs> i really like that vanilla scent uh in in altair i know people are pretty mixed on it uh it's kind of a synthetic smelling vanilla but thing i'll say is that it is extremely appealing uh it smells so good in the air so all right sorry back to the rest Huh, okay. Next up, Black Anubis. Black Anubis. I have no, no clue what this one is. Don't even know. Hmm, okay, well, let's find out. By the way, I, I think I mentioned, I didn't know when I picked these out which ones were uh, male targeted and which ones are female targeted, so. Um. <sighs> oh. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Freaking mosquitoes all over the place out here. You can probably see them in the video. It's really super annoying. Man, what is this? This smells masculine. This is the first thing I would say is I feel like this is definitely for men. There's something woodsy in here. You know, okay, so here's part of it. A lot of fragrances are made, this is just pure speculation, but a lot of fragrances are made in France, right? Like in uh, one of the three major flavor houses. And uh, I believe this is perfumed by someone, that, like the owner of the company. I don't think they're, I don't think that they're um, sub, subbing this out to other people. I wonder if there's something about American tastes, because I'm finding these a little bit more appealing generally. Like this is like better version, uh, like this is like the classy version of like some deodorants, you know what I mean? Doesn't smell like Axe, doesn't smell like Old Spice, none, none of those, but like this feels like it's in the same vein except way, way, way better classier smelling um this is like man this is really nice yeah this is kind of this smells like uh, like a, a good looking classy fragrance to me like this is like what a good looking dude wears to like a club yeah i think like this this would be a great great daily driver for a younger guy this is this is tough uh you know i i kind of got the impression from the first couple that i smelled that there might be a lot from this house that i want to pick up and uh that has not been um <laughs> that seems to be the case as more i go through these there's several i want to pick up so i'm grateful that they're not you know several hundred dollars a pop uh, <laughs> uh, okay next up this one i think is going to be pretty straightforward this one is Horchata de Vani. I have a feeling that this is gonna be like horchata. If you're not familiar with horchata, it's like a rice milk uh, drink from Mexico. Cinnamon, vanilla. Um, it's very, very good. Very, very good. I typically have it cold. I think it's typically served cold over like over ice. I don't know if it's, I, think, I guess you could have it warm, but I'm familiar with it over ice. So this one, yep, yep. Though, again, it's not just a candle. I think this one probably is more feminine, but um, it's not just horchata, uh, and it doesn't just smell like a candle. It still smells like a perfume. Like this still smells like wearable. I guess that's that's a, a kind of a surprising thing with this one is I kind of expected it to just smell like a candle maybe. But this is really nice. Like this would be beautiful as a wearable scent. Um, 
if you try and draw the line between what makes something smell like a candle and what makes it smell like a wearable scent, that's really hard. I don't know. What's that line? Do you have Do you have an idea? What What's What's the line between something smelling like a candle and still smelling wearable? You know what I mean? Because like the most wanted to my sister-in-law smells like a candle. To me, it smells wearable. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, that's nice. I would I would want to see that on my wife. Uh, horchata de vanille smells really nice. I put that on my wife. Okay, so next up, Tabac Citron Vanille, which to me. That's a pretty interesting compare or mix um, right there. Um, so I'm interested. To s I'm interested to see what they do with it. Also, I don't think I mentioned this up front, but uh, I this is all my money. Uh, they have no clue who I am. They probably won't even like the the company probably won't even see this video. So this is uh, the. All right, rounding out with Wood of the Gods. I imagine this one smells like what it says. No, it's a little different, honestly. Um, yeah, that's a woody fragrance. There's like some vanilla in there, some sweetness. Interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, it's woody, but like, there's kind of like a, like a vague sarsaparilla sort of thing going on, but the sweetness and the vanilla in it with it too. So, so kind of take like the tuxedo or the kismet or the mustache. I think all three of those kind of have a similar DNA. Take that DNA and dial down like kind of the spices to the side of it, make it more of the woods and the vanilla. <sighs> I'd love to wear this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wear this one on skin. Actually, I'm just gonna do that. I don't have anything on here. Cause I feel like this thing will pop. That's really interesting. Oh yeah, there's something there's something smooth about it. Like texturally, if it's hard to describe, but like, like I feel like texture when I smell this. Oh man, this smells good. Like woods are there, but it's not like the sort of thing where it's screaming, but you could tell that they're kind of, everything is built on a bed of woods. But there's a lot coming off the top. Really, man. I gotta say, <laughs> this is this has been one of the best discovery sets I've smelled in a good long while. Like these have these have all been unique. Um, all right, the camera cut off there, but I was kind of trailing off anyway. So I'm gonna move on to the last one. This is the scent uh, that they sent me a sample of. That it was one of the nine. This is the tenth. So. My discovery set arrives. Uh, I see that this is outside of the nine that I ordered. Didn't even look at the name of it and I just sprayed it on. And um, <laughs> this is Oceanic Symphony. So here's what happens. I spray this sucker on and um, my first impression was, oh yeah, okay, this is like a, it's like a freshie. Didn't, 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 you know, set my world on fire or anything like that. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it again. Uh, so I sprayed it on the back of my hand and like 30 seconds later, I'm like catching whiffs of this off the back of my hand. And I'm just like, wow, that's, uh, that's not what I first was feeling when I smelled it, but I just couldn't stop. Like this fragrance, um, I think it's like a lot of citruses up top, uh, musk, uh, ambergris, 
I think amber might be in it as well, but you get the vibe of citruses, but this isn't like smelling an orange peel. This isn't like afternoon swim or the Paris Corner clone or happy for men. This is like really bright citrus and then like this hard to describe sort of smell that like is for me, parts of it is like, parts of it is aqua di Gio, but parts of it is like Gucci Guilty Black. Uh, there's this, <laughs> this thing about this, hold on. So, my initial thoughts were, oh, fresh, nice, more complex, but the sillage is a myth. Like, this in the air <laughs> reminds me of like the best uh, parts of Tommy, um, like from that, uh, like, like this is like, it's the best parts of smelling Tommy on someone else. You know what I mean? When you when you get that, where you smell like that fragrance, that, that scent on someone else, and you're like, oh man, it smells so good. Uh, gives me Gucci Black vibe while not smelling like it. It also doesn't smell like Tommy. It's just kind of giving me like the best parts of them. You know what I mean? Um, this smells like a very, very smooth guy to me. Like I smell this and I'm like, this smells like a very cool dude. <laughs> this smells like a cool dude that I admire. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of how it feels. Really enjoy the sillage. This feels great for a night out. Uh, this is great with the skin warms up. Um, it's in the class of like fresh body deodorants, but it is doing such a better job than any of them. Um, it smells familiar, but new. Uh, like I said, I think like for some reason I have a, a there's it gives me Gucci Guilty black vibes, but it doesn't smell like that. Oh man, it smells so good, especially like after a second once the citruses have have chilled out. Um, the smell underneath is just so nice. It is just like man, and and this is also a scent that um, uh, I showed my cousin, and she kind of lost her mind. She said for her, it reminded her of Aqua Di Gio, but way better than Aqua Di Gio. So for me, uh, <laughs> this is a fragrance that I didn't order the sample of. I probably, I don't know, after I've smelled the rest of them, there's a lot. I gotta, I gotta go through and spend some time with these. But like when I'm just like in the couple of days since I got this discovery set, uh, I have been sitting with this one kind of just obsessing over it. Like this one is not my typical style. I'm not usually into freshies. I've, I'm like even Aqua de Joe, I've smelled it, it's fine. It doesn't like set my world on fire. This does. Uh, this smells really, really, really good. And I don't normally care about freshies. I really can't stress that enough. It's not that I don't, it's not that I dislike them. I just, there's not usually enough to, there's not usually enough in a freshie to keep my interest and captivate me. That is not the case here. Uh, I feel like we've kind of stumbled somehow into uh, Bulgar Tiger, Bulgari Tiger territory. This doesn't smell like Tiger to me, like at all. Although maybe, I wonder if that's what it is. Maybe it's like the ambergris or something like that. Maybe like, maybe, maybe Ambroxan is like the MSG of fragrances where it just kind of enhances everything else. Cause man, I just, I can't, I can't stop smelling this one. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's, it's doing the same thing that Tigar did where I just wanted to keep smelling it over and over and over again. So I think I actually am going to end up getting a bottle of this one. Uh, man, that's tough. There's so many good scents in there. This is, this is great. This is a great house. I'm, I'm looking forward to this too. I, I like this. Um, it's nice to see that Americans can make fragrances. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I really like DS and Durga a lot and I know there's lots of other good indie, indie houses, but um, I don't know. There's something, there's something about it. It's like, Hey, we've got the, we've got the ability to. So I'm going to learn more about this house. Um, very, very interesting. Have you guys smelled anything from them? If not get the discovery set cause Man, these are bangers. Uh, and I think the price makes them like probably one of the best values in, in fragrance because these all smell high quality. Um, but I appreciate that they're still attainable. So I also feel like I heard that they use Lalique bottles. 
which uh, like the because the, Lalique is if you don't know Lalique is actually their their main main business is making glassware. Uh, so like with Ancre Noir and stuff like that, it's their own glassware that they're using, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's also some of the best glassware that I've seen in the fragrance community. So if Sphinx is using that, that's awesome. Good for them. Uh, that's a, a sign of good taste in my opinion. It would also be fitting with the rest of this presentation, which is actually beautiful. So I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, thank you again for a thousand subscribers. That's amazing. I can't believe it. Uh, if you've smelled these, let me know. If there's another scent from the house that you think I should check out, please let me know. If you uh, have not checked them out before, let them uh, go, go smell them. Go get the discovery set and then come back here and tell me how right I am because these are great. These are really, really great. Anyway, I'm gonna go smell them and uh, I'll talk to you next week. Have a good one, bye. I also do wanna say I've had some other thoughts since I've worn some of these since the original recording as well. Uh, I'm gonna include those in the roundup with next week's uh, video where I'm doing the rest of the samples roundups and, and the two that didn't get into this video. So that'll be in the rest of next week's video.